Hi, and welcome to Dr. Mix. Today, I'm very excited of demonstrating the Roland Chorus Echo RE501. This is a classic tape delay. It's a vintage unit. We have lots more vintage equipment and synthesizers on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe now. I'm very excited because this is the better version of the famous Space Echo. It's got lots more features like the chorus and a spring reverb. I like to keep this unit open because it's very cool to watch the tape go round and round. This is very clever because you got all the instructions right on this panel. I'm gonna put this on a side for a sec, turn the unit on, and as you can see, you have the capstan that's pulling the tape all around the mechanism, and uh, what happens is that the signal gets recorded on tape and then played back straight after it. The unit has several tape heads. The first one is the erase, second one is record, then we have three playback heads and a fourth one on the back right here. I'll show you quickly my setup today. On this side, I have the Roland TR-8 that I can use for some drum sounds. It's a 808 kit right now. And on this side, I have the Boss RC-505 which I'm using as a sampler. Oh, you know, I throw. So the signal is going into the Roland RE501. And uh, hey, let's listen to how it sounds. We select echo. Mode number one means that we are playing back to the closest playback head. And um, this is how it sounds. Now, here I've got the repeat rate, which simply means the speed of the tape. Look at this capstan. If I push it faster, then it starts going really fast, or I can go slow. Of course, this means that the time that it takes for the tape to go from one head to the next, it's gonna be longer if the tape is slower. So, and if I go faster, One of the beautiful uh, effects that you get is by changing the pitch as you play along. Because of course it messes up with the speed of the tape, so you get this uh, famous effect. Now intensity is the amount of feedback, so how much the uh, reproduced sound goes back onto tape. To the point that it's going to self oscillate, as you can see. Then I can play with it. So I can find a tempo for this. And this is the type of speed that you get in mode one. Now in mode two, I am switching to the next playback head, which is gonna be a bit further away, which means it's gonna take a little bit longer and the delay time will increase. You see what I mean? Mode 3 will be even longer. Let me turn up the volume of the delay a little bit louder. And that's pretty cool. Now this machine can also play back from two heads at the same time. And that's the effect that you're going to get. See, it's like two, two delays at two different tempos. So 
So I can kind of play between the speed of the tape and the distance between the two heads. Or I can have two different set of heads. Or the three of them all together. This, of course, will, will, will make the sound become uniform as the, th the, the, the three heads um, uh, basically take a section of the sound and basically mix it all up. And uh, this is a very cool effect. But as well, the uh, RE501 has a reverb function on it. So... And that's how you get that famous dub effects that we that we hear from records coming from Jamaica. This is very cool. Let's try this sound now. Oh, you know, you know. Also, you can choose to have a chorus in the mix, which makes the sound like this. How cool is that? If you combine it with the reverb... That's pretty spectacular, isn't it? Now, uh, we also have controls for the bass and treble. So, let me demonstrate that quickly. Or... Or... So you get quite a few different sounds straight out of the machine. Now the last button is the sound on sound playback head, which means it's going to take quite a bit of time before the next repetition. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Also, you can decide to have just one single repetition. And that's the end of it. So, I love this machine. It's got a beautiful sound. Now I'm going to just play a little bit with uh, a rhythm and I'll try to synchronize it. Ooh, lucky me. I love this. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe to our channel by clicking right here 
We got loads more interesting videos. Visit our channel, tell your friends, and thanks for watching.